All right, here you go. Here is the short pieces of pipe cut off. I had to clean up these holes a little bit to get them in. There's a snug fit. Um, the, when the plasma cut, it cuts a little bit of an angle. The hole will be so one side will be open uh, wider than the other. Same, same thing happens with a laser. But here's the general idea. These will be welded in and then there'll be a bolt welded to either one or two. Um, one will probably have two and the other one will probably have one and with a flat clamp on. And then, then we'll, after the bolts are all welded, and this is all welded, then I cut the notch where it clamps down on the, on the, on the forks. So let's go see what they look like on the forks. All right. I got this thing set up on a box to kind of show you how it all is going to work. Of course, this is the, these all need to be welded on. Then I will add a similar arrangement as this here, probably double here, double here, singles or double. I, I've done it before. I've done two, 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 two. So the eight bolts holding the uh, forks on triple tree. I don't want to slide off. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, notice I got this notch here. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut this off right there. And I'm going to reuse this center section. I'm going to set her down in here and that notch clears all this stuff and the welds on the back. And then I'll weld that piece to this piece and I'll have all this already done and I don't have to fabricate something from scratch. Try to keep it easy for myself. I got enough work to do, enough welding to do as it is. So, But that's kind of the idea. Let's get this out of the way here of what's going on here. 3 16 steel, top and bottom. Um, this is um, seamless chrome molly tubing that's going to be the clamps when it all gets done. And I think it's going to come out real nice. It's going to have a nice uh, nice ride height. More, uh, you know, not going to be nose down, anything like that. So next thing is to start welding. I start welding this stuff up and um, getting it ready to put up on the frame for the final adjustments. Make sure the wheel, front, front wheels and back wheels are copacetic. That's why I haven't finished this yet. I think I'm gonna to have to do a little change here with this angle of the shock. I was just discussing that this afternoon with my son. But nevertheless, right now we're working on a fork, so stay tuned for that. And if you like this kind of stuff, I'm gonna call it quits on this video and we'll, we'll catch up with you. And I wanna actually get this welded up or I'll show you how I do that. Um, like, share, subscribe, you know, share it with your friends, like it. So the algorithm likes me. That's a milling machine running in the background. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be a cool build.